It'll probably be here in a sec. Just uh, obviously quite busy, you know, because he's um. Hey, alright, Bradley. Alright, mate, how you going? Marcus, you? Woo! Dougie, you're reprobate, what are you doing? Alright, mate, we're all here. Oh, God. You've been waiting long? About 45 minutes. No, I've still got, got my own. Those are shit. Oh. Should you we ready? start? Yeah. yeah. Oh, from the beginning? Yep. Oh, 1981. Oh, Adam and the Ants. Who could be that? No, it's not, it's, not, uh, Boy it's not I Love 1981. No? It's, no, it's, uh, we're talking about The Office. Brilliant. That's an excellent. I wish it was I Love 1970. Space Offers, Swizzlers. What's all that about? <laughs> it's all about the office. So, could be, could before we start, why is it called How I Made the Office just by Ricky Gervais? Why, why is it, it, is, how, it is How I Made the Office. Yeah, but why isn't it How DVD. We Made the Office by Ricky Gervais and Steve Merchant? Too long? Just your name shorter? The thing about Ricky is that he's uh, the most irritating man I've ever met. He's like a child who's drunk too much orange squash with tartrazine in and has now gone a bit wild and you need to calm him down. He's going to keep doing something until he gets a reaction. He loves it, don't you? Like, it's, it's a joy. There's Keenan. Cock. Do you like a swearing on YouTube? Are you watching this on you YouTube? Like, you like, yeah. Fucking shit and bollocks yeah. and pits and tits. Boring, isn't it? Just... Staying in watching peak practice with your life. What do we uh, think might be the lesson here? Dogs? <laughs> Say what you see, Gary. <laughs> Give a dog a bone. I'm playing with my dirty pillows. Oh. I'm aching for your big purple headed womb ferret. Get round here because I'm fudding myself stupid and I'm bloody loving it. Right? Yeah. But hang on. Why is the slut from next door just coming into my bedroom and is taking a bra off? What are you doing? Just checking that. Look, whether or not Anton is indeed a midget or a dwarf... No, he's or... a midget. What's the difference? <laughs> well, a dwarf is someone who has disproportionately short arms and legs. Oh, I know the ones. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's caused by a hormone deficiency. Yeah, bloody hormones. Yeah. Mm. A midget is still a dwarf, but their arms and legs are in proportion. Sure. So, what's an elf? An elf is a supernatural being. Sometimes they're invisible, they're like fairies. They don't actually exist, do they? In real life. Uh, it's not a pubes dog hair. I, it's all right. It's not a pubes of dog hair, everyone. I, I, I thought it was a pube. There's nothing going on between us. Uh, like not like that. Not like that, no. Um, you know, but we're a team. I'm assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. So is a pixie the same thing as an elf? Hold on, Gareth. What? I just want to know how come he knows so much about midgets. It's called an education. So what's a goblin? And I don't call my second in command an arse-based weasel. A weasel-based arse? Same thing. Well, no, it's not. Would you rather have a face like an arse or a face like a weasel? Weasel, probably. I'm not married and I don't have a boyfriend and I'm, I'm not a lesbian, so I'm all done, available. <laughs> Um, I was wondering if a military man like you, um, you know, a soldier, yeah. could could you give a man a lethal blow? <laughs> if I was forced to, I could. If it was absolutely necessary. If uh, if he was attacking me. If he was coming really hard. Yeah. You smack her in the back of the head, right? Then you come around here and you jam it into her mouth. No, you can't put your hand up, okay? Boom, you jam her in the mouth, okay? Break her jaw on the first one. Boom, second one, nose, okay? And then she, her jaw's broken, she swallowed her teeth, blood's coming out, all right? Then you smack her again across the side, breaking the neck. And it, before he goes into battle, he's playing with his dog and everything. <laughs> Nigger. Yeah, that's not offensive, that's the dog's name. It was the 40s as well, before racism was bad, isn't it? So. Uh, yeah, the dog was called Nigger. Don't keep saying it, but... At the time, they'll probably be working Shall we go, Can we switch it off, because I need... I need a scotch egg. I need a scotch egg and needs to lie down. Can we get... Can we get Ricky Gervais's hammock? Just bring that in. <laughs> I love a hammock. Do you always imagine doing it face to face with a bloke, or could you take a man from behind? Either way is easy. Either way. Mm. And so you could do a man from behind. Yeah? Yeah. Can I ask you a quite a sensitive question? Um, would you mind if I washed one of those shirts in a leading household brand of detergent and the other one in new dance? So. 
You've dug your foxhole, and you've pitched your tent. Right. They've discovered your camp, and you're lying there, and they've caught you with your trousers down, and they've all entered your hole without you knowing. No, because I'd be ready for them. Right, so you'd just be lying there waiting for it? Well, yeah. Well, no. What's more likely is that I wouldn't be there. If I knew they knew where I was, I'd be hiding, watching the hole, using it as a trap. So you'd be using your hole as bait? Yeah. All right, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, the script's not funny, you know, it's crass, it's lowest common denominator. And, you know, you're right. But don't worry about it, because people will watch anything. Those sort of morons will help us win the ratings war. In this room, I have special... Leeds? No, I am a special... Leeds child? No. And... Quit! What I don't enjoy is what I call the anti-laugh, where it's at... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just leave and you just carry on talking? <laughs> that won't help. I buried my sister today. Don't look at the camera. Action. You're smiling sad. You look straight at the lens again. Alfie, not again. Why are you late? Because I... We can't see you, Keith. You've gone too far. Sad. Too far. Left a bit. Don't look at me! OK, ask him the question. Why are you late? Because my sister buried me today. Oh, for fuck's sake! Why would your sister bury you? I was always told when I... Uh, uh, doing you know, English O-level, you know, write about uh, what you know. And, it, and, it, and it's so true. It's just... It's so much easier. Yeah, that's it? why you want our next project to be you uh, as a man locked in a futuristic prison. Well, yeah, I've been, you know... It's called Brain Jail. Scott Carson. <laughs> Crime he didn't commit. He was probably saving some people from a burning building. But he just probably broke a, a rubbish law in the future. You can't have your own thoughts. <laughs> Download Brain jail. Yeah, I think I downloaded my own feelings from my computer. Yeah. Well, I just wish you could get back your dead wife's memories and bring her back to life cryogenically. Yeah, but the evil bloke in charge of it, it wasn't even voted in. He killed people to get oh, there. Oh, not that dictator. Yeah, he's got it on a floppy Zordon. disk. Except it's not even a floppy disk by then. It's just a floppy dot. It's like a little dot, isn't it? That floats. <laughs> so not, it's I'm as not... good as written. <laughs> <laughs> it's as good as Dickens. Loser. So you don't throw money on the floor, you just, I don't know, you throw food and then you make her eat it like a dog. Well, I'm telling you, if I just slept with that, I wouldn't throw the food on the floor, I'd throw it in her face. Where do, where do actors go, oh, I think they'd be doing this, I'll tell you what they'd be doing, whatever I fucking write. <laughs> Learn the lines. And I'm just sorry that we won't work together again. It's pretty sad. Get over it. <laughs> Harsh. We're not going to work together again. Next. It's tough. Where are you going? Uh, is that it then, is it? Yeah, got a sauna. It's got two nightclubs. We've got Chasers and uh, New York, New York. And they call it the nightclub that never sleeps. Um, that closes at one. Hmm. Uh, there is, uh, There was, oh my God, a, uh, a themed nightclub called Henry VIII's, right? And this was incredible. It had the Anne Boleyn Alley, OK? This is true. Um... As you went into the loo, there was a sign that said, Mind your head. Nice. And uh, underneath, someone had written, Don't get your Hampton caught. <laughs> yeah, it's not there anymore. But th there is not a day that goes by that I don't think about it. Well, Gareth was quiz master then. And the question was, What type of alien is Mr. Spock? And everyone put Vulcan, which is incorrect. Mr. Spock is half Vulcan, half human. OK. Oh, I don't want to talk about Mr Spock. That was, that was all sorted out then. OK, questions were asked. Certain parties were unhappy. The questions were solved. End of discussion. All right, don't rake up old graves. People go, oh, why is it important, a question about Mr Spock? I go, oh, all right. Um, it's like saying, oh, I've got a new pedigree dog breed. It's half Alsatian, half Labrador. I go along to Crufts. I go, oh, can I have this dog in the Labrador section? No. Why? Because it's not a Labrador. Correct. Can I enter in this Alsatian section? No, for the same reasons. Now get that dog out of my sight. Thanks, I will.